Hello, welcome to our EVE Online, Getting Into EVE Online Part 2. So this part deals with uh, creating three characters. You just uh, skip the tutorial with them and then set up their skills and do project discovery. And there's also the uh, skilling spree we didn't put on the list. Basically, you could have your all characters and there's some uh, dailies they could do. So if you set up your characters on your main, you could just log out and then log back in again and you might get this uh, daily starter gifts. So you can claim this for each of the 15 days you log in, you get a different gift. And you could have uh, three characters on your account, so you might as well make three characters that have them on your account. Put them all in the same space, make them all in the Kaldari space, and you could just create them. Although uh, this time when you create the character, when you enter the game, it'll ask you if you want to do the tutorial again. Say uh, you want to skip the tutorial. So it pretty much gives you like 160k, that's it. And then a couple guns you don't use, we figured that out. So once you get into the game, just open the agency tab, go to career agents, and then just uh, set destination. So this is uh, exactly like the final mission of the tutorial. Pretty much find where the career agents are and warp to them. Oh, and the uh, Project Discovery, if you go to the left, open Project Discovery, you can do Project Discovery on your all characters as well. So that'd be something to do on them. And you'll notice when you go to your skill training queue, you uh, can't train on multiple pilots. You could like uh, pause training on one character and then train on another character for a bit. Or you could also just uh, play them and blow up some ships every day and then get some free skill points. But for now, we're just going to set up our alt characters with these exact same things. We buy the social book and the negotiation books, and then we go social 3, negotiation 2. This is pretty much just to help uh, make it more worth it to run the missions for them. So if we want to do missions on them, like the career agents, like we're going to do that now, right? We go to the basic military career agent and we'd start the first uh, basic military career mission. The ship that we get should be perfectly fine for running the mission. The main thing we want to do on each of our characters is uh, blow up ships each day. And this will give us uh, skill points on our characters. So since we have completed that, we could actually level up some skills without actually training on the character. <clears throat> so now we have Social 1 and Social 2 trained on the character. And we just uh, complete the first mission. <clears throat> That's pretty much all you do, just complete the first mission. Don't worry about the second mission. You'll be doing the second mission tomorrow to get some more skill points tomorrow. So if we have all of that done, then we could log out <clears throat> and then we could create a third character. <clears throat> Pretty much we just uh, log into the characters each day, do project discovery, go kill some ships to get skill points, apply the skill points, and later we could use them for science and industry. So we log on to the third character, we do project discovery until we can't anymore. And then we do the first combat mission, and then we blow up some ships, get our daily skill points that we could get. So you get the uh, daily skill points on each of your characters, right? So you have three characters. All three of them are going to get these free skill points every day. Just complete the first combat mission. Complete that one. And as long as you did that, you could just go on your main character again. That was uh, all you needed to do on your other characters. Just those uh, two things.